why are there giant... I hope those aren't egg sacs. I really don't feel like having something implanted in my abdomen. Hey everybody, welcome to an impromptu uh, pop-up of Excess Recess. This is Docs. Last night we were playing through, trying to get to the end, and we got to our final boss fight. And after several attempts and way too many deaths... Uh, I called it just because I was getting frustrated and I wasn't going to be uh, making any good decisions and it was probably getting really annoying watching me die all those times. So today is quite literally getting through this boss fight and I think that's the end of the game as far as I can tell. But we will find out. Uh, if you are noticing some issues with audio, it's uh, I'm dealing with a new headset uh, so I'm just trying to figure out the bugs, make sure I get all the settings and, and levels set right. But here we go. Um, I know here we have to go um, kind of in one door out the other. So the portals take us to different places and we basically need we need her to attack us um, so we can flip over, get that axe and break the thingy she's hiding. I think it's a music box. I'm calling her she now because I was convinced it they were both little boys. Now I think they're both little girls. I'm not entirely sure, but six. Um, I'm fairly certain from what other streamers have said on uh, earlier portions of the game that it's a girl. Oh boy. So we start by calling her. That pisses her off. Oh yeah, she can reach through the portal now. And the other ones she couldn't reach right through the portal. Now that's a thing. Excuse me, I can see. Can I get up here? Maybe so. Because if I could drag it down, that would make it a lot easier. So let's see if I can. Oh my god. I can run. Run, you moron. Get in the door. Okay. Now's we got ourselves an axe. But that desperately changes how fast we now like the slowest thing on planet Earth. Wah! Yes! Fine O Lee. Oh boy. We got uh, Why are there giant I hope those aren't egg sacks. I really don't feel like having something implanted in my abdomen. Do I? Oh, okay. Ooh. So pick up the ants. How do I? Ooh, just screaming at her makes her mad. Oh my god. You know, I was swearing a lot last night and I was so frustrated. But like I said in the stream, sometimes I always find that I really sometimes just need that break and I can come back and in a minute I gotta figure it out. Um, but when I get frustrated, I lose all reasoning and I forget how to use my brain. Uh, oh, do I need to do it again? Do I need to just like make sure? Oh, I do. Uh -huh. Those are definitely egg sacs. We're screwed. There's a xenomorph coming. Oh! Six is back to her normal size. I really thought the Slender Man dude was going to be our final boss. I didn't. I was surprised to see it was six. Oh, okay. Things are collapsing. Come with me. End it with the final run sequence. Run. Oh my god! Their eyes! Go, 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 go! Yeah, I wasn't going fast enough. Follow six. I, I thought six knew what the hell she was doing. Uh, apparently, she's just trying to get me squished. I'm a little angry about me breaking the music box and stuff. Like, oh no, you broke my favorite tie. Go, like, go, oh, oh, go, oh, go, oh, go, oh, go! Oh. Okay, ass hat. Oh. Oh, see, whatever that is keeps stopping me. 
from running. Come on, jump up. See, that screwed me up. Come on, grab it, you flippin' idiot. Go, go, go! Oh, come on, is this a run sequence forever? Because I can't stand up. That's helpful. Let's put it in slow motion with a heartbeat. And jump! Come on. Pull me up. Are you still angry about the music box, Six? Seriously, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Please pull me up, Six. That was a dick move, Six. Dick move. Nightmares to little assholes. Uh, I I freed you from your crazy mutant giant self, and you just dumped me in a pit. Rick. Uh, now it's quiet. It's too quiet. There we go. Just fill it up with gushy noises. Gushy noises are good. Where the hell are we? Looks like we're skating along on the outside of someone's spleen. Now, there's really no indication what direction I should be going. I'm only going to the right because that's kind of been the direction everything else in this game has gone. Ooh, a chair. Oh, no, not a timeout chair. We've been in the timeout chair too many times. Okay, uh, there's all those eyes, which kind of goes back to all the drawings of eyes throughout the game. And. What's going on now? Is our brain going to explode? Brain's going to explode. It's totally going to explode. Oh. Well, we suddenly got superhero powers, and I'm not sure why we haven't used those. Like, we basically throttled Slenderman with our mind. Um, so what's our damage now? Because I can't get down off the chair. Get down. Do it. Uh, don't just sit there. It's the timeout chair. That means you have to do everything to get out of there. Hmm. Oh, we're bigger. Are we all grown up now? I don't know, because we can't seem to move still. Okay, now we're lots bigger. And we're still in the timeout chair. Oh, there was days at school where I thought it felt like I grew up sitting there staring at the clock waiting for the day to be done. <sighs> Are we going to be the Slender Man? Because we're pretty skinny. We need a cheeseburger or something. Cheeseburger? I have a cheeseburger? Somebody? No? Yeah, fine. Eat that way. I know this is supposed to be kind of story related. There we are. Yeah, we are the Slender Man. Uh, why? I don't know. Why were we chasing ourselves if we are the Slender person? And we still have no explanation for all the feet and shoes all over. What? So we were the Slender Man in the chair at the end of the hall the whole time.
Then why were we trying to kill ourselves? I do not know. So is this all inside Six's head? And Six was... We were a figment of Six's imagination? Maybe? I, I can't tell if there were any story elements from the first one that kind of would have explained some of what's gone on in this. I was hoping for just a little bit more explanation. I know they, the whole point of that is to leave it to kind of your imagination and let you think your way through it. Uh, but there's so much that made absolutely no sense in that. Saying that, the game was great. I really enjoyed most of it. Um, there were frustrating parts where it was just, you know, like those run sequences where you there's so little room for error that the slightest trip up and you go back uh, to the beginning of the run sequence. Or some of the fight sequences because it was, it was a swing and then you had to wait um, before you could basically bring your club or, or pipe or axe or whatever you're using back around to make another shot. That made it a little difficult, made it really frustrating at points. Outside of that, everything about the game, the, the music, the, the, the style, atmosphere, is just fantastic. Um, like I said, I'm going to go back and play through. I want to find some of those hats. Uh, I only ever found the one, and that was in Chapter 4. And see if, uh, see if there's anything else, any other little hidden gems. I doubt I'm going to stream any of that, just because it'll be me wandering around, poking around, um, not really caring about progress of the game, just trying to find hats. But I might, if I find, if I have some interesting parts, I might clip it and then go from there. So this is a super short session. I am, um, I'm a little miffed I couldn't have got that done last night, but I just got so frustrated there was no way at all I was working through, um, working through that that final boss fight so uh thanks for watching uh, this has been excess recess and this is docs and i am going to find something else to bring to you along the same lines have a great day hey. Hey.